Wanderings, welcome to episode 5 of our road trip in Andalusia. In episode 4, we have visited Malaga, entered into the white village zone and I ended the video into a blue village. That was an unusual village because it was all repainted from white to blue for the first Smurf Hollywood movie. If you want to know more, I invite you to watch or rewatch the video. Today we are going south and we will drive along the sea ocean coast to get to a very ancient city named Cadiz. When I say south, I mean it. Our first step is Tarifa, which is actually really close to Morocco. Not really considered as part of the white villages, I wanted to go to Tarifa to go to the southern part of Spain. At 14 kilometers away, the city is in competition with Gibraltar, but the latter still gave the name to the strait. Yes, if you look at the map, this passage of water connecting the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea is called the Strait of Gibraltar, even though Tarifa is actually closer to the African coast. Tarifa might be depressed because of this, but she has something Gibraltar doesn't. One pretty cool dividing line between the two seas. Ta-da! On one side, you have the calm Mediterranean Sea, and on the other side, the tempestuous Atlantic Ocean. And in the middle, you have me running to the camera like a madman. As you can hear, there is some wind around here, but we will come back to this later. If you continue running or just strolling casually around the area, you'll notice several graffitis and arts. In my opinion, this is the only reason to walk along the beginning of La Playa de los Lenses, all the rest is not worth it. What I found the most charming in Tarifa is its city center. As pleasant as any other white villages I visited, I recommend you spend some time to visit the downtown. I already feel I'm in the Maghreb, don't you feel it too? The entrance is defined by that castle door, right there, you can't miss it. There are other things you should know about Tarifa. First, seagulls do not respect heroes of war. Honestly, Margaret, do I walk upon the head of your queens at night? No, I don't. That's right, fly away, yeah. Secondly, I like staring at the water mysteriously. I think it gives me that puzzling style I need in order to have some more confidence. Yeah. And finally, I've prepared for you a rather strange dance on the windy beach of Tarifa, where kite surfers gather worldwide. My dance is called The Sound of the Wind, and I hope you will like it. Here we go. Alright, that was unnecessary and strange, so let's move on. As you can imagine, after that dance, I need to relax a little bit, so we will go to another beach at sunset and relax. This beach is called Bologna, and before I explain you why we choose that beach in particular, let's enjoy some drone shots. That's it, we are very relaxed, right? So now I can tell you why we came here. Apart from being an incredible beach, Bologna holds very beautiful ruins of an Hispano-Roman city dating from the end of the 2nd century before Christ. During the reign of Emperor Claudius, Bailo Claudia was transformed into an imperial city, where a theater, terms, a vast forum, and religious administrative buildings grew. I had many expectations about this place, so I was a bit disappointed. However, in the end, especially the center of the ruins, looks like it hasn't moved a bit in centuries. If you visit Bailo Claudia, you will be amazed and you will not pay a cent if you are a European citizen, which is pretty cool. Another pretty ancient city to visit, which isn't in ruins, is the city of Cadiz. Cadiz is situated one hour and a half up north from Bailo Claudia along the Pacific coast. Cadiz is the oldest town in the occidental world. Just this info should be enough for you to visit. 3,000 years old of history and plenty of stories to tell. One legend says that the city was founded by Hercules and another that this is the debris of the sunken Atlantis. What is more certain is that it was the Phoenicians who founded the city around 1,100 years before Christ. And I have actually just the right thing to show you in order to prove it. 
Inside, or actually just below my feet, is the ancient city of Gadix called Gadir. Thousands of years later, today, I want to show you what's left of it. Yes, not so fast, Gimlet. Wanderings, just a warning first. The videos you are about to see were shot in low lights, and my camera didn't really like that. So maybe you will experience some quite ugly shots, but in order to prove my point, and because this is too late to go back in time, let's go. That was worse than what you expected, right? Yes, for me too, so let's get out of here. The next thing you can do in Cadiz to have fun is to go around the center along the ocean. First, to have a nice view on the ocean, and second, because there are some beautiful parks and pleasant places. Let's mention Genova's Park with this inventive fountain, or the Garden of Almada Apodaca, which contains these flowery tile avenues. In between the two, am I not feeling happy around all these cannons, miming the sounds they could make? Okay, that is silly, but what I'm trying to say is that I was really surprised by Cadiz. If you continue walking until the end, you will arrive in one of the most popular spots in all Cadiz. At the end of the Paseo, you reach La Playa de la Caleta, the only beach inside the old town where you can sunbath and chill during the day. This is also the place where Al Berry, the actress, was shot in James Bond Die Another Day because of its resemblance to Cuba, La Havana. Magnificent view. It is, isn't it? How Berry is not the only one to shine on the beach of Cadiz. The sun does also that pretty well. Your eyes will shine brightly if you decide to stay on this beach for the sunset. In reality, the best place to sight it. At the edge of the Atlantic Ocean, the small silver cup, the nickname of Cadiz, conceals adventures, historical corners, and has its own well-marked identity. Just for its market full of life, its unexpected temporary exhibitions, or the beauty of its sunset, Cadiz should not be missed. Wanderings, I hope you liked that fifth episode, and if you want to learn more about Cadiz or Tarifa, I invite you to check the Facebook pages like French Passionate or French Chaps of Spain. I wish you an incredible day, and I see you soon for the rest of our road trip in Andalusia. See you pronto!